Welcome to the digital learning platform of Center for NEMS and Nanophotonics, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Madras. Oxide etching using inductive coupled plasma reactive ion etching, ICPRIE. Introduction to ICPRIE for dry etching. We are going to show you thin film etching using an ICPRIE, that is, inductive coupled reactive ion etching system, Plasma Lab 100 from Oxford Instruments. Inductively coupled plasma etching is an anisotropic process. It involves fluorine based etching gases for dry etching, where material is removed with the use of chemically reactive plasma under a low pressure around 1 to 100 millitor. The ICPRIE uses two independent RF sources, one to strike plasma in a gas mixture and the other to create a DC bias which extracts and accelerates ions and radicals from the plasma towards a sample surface. This gives independent control of ion density and energy. ICPRIE is a popular dry etching technique because of its possibility for high etch rates, great selectivity and reduced ion bombardment damage. Typically, the material removed is a thin film previously deposited on a wafer. Today, we will etch patterned silicon oxide deposited on silicon wafer using ICPRIE. Here is our system, which is a two-chamber system. This is the load lock and here is the reactor chamber. Process start. First, we have to turn on the process exhaust and chiller for the system. Next, we will check the gas lines and open the gas cylinders for this particular etching process. Here, trifluoromethane CHF3. Next, Switch on the interfacing computer and ICPRIE system and check the status of parameters like temperature and pressure. Next, we log in to the PC2000 software to start the process. Here is the load lock and here is the reactor chamber. First, we will switch on the chiller system, then evacuate the process chamber. Turbo will be automatically turned on and we have to wait for the base pressure to reach around 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 8 millitor. In the meantime, we turn on the pump in the load lock side to evacuate it. Now we will load the wafer. For that, we have to vent the load lock chamber. The pressure in the load lock side will slowly come to the atmospheric pressure. Once our chamber is vented, we can start loading our sample. We will load the sample following the particular orientation as directed here. After placing the sample, we close the lid. Now we will start evacuating the load lock chamber. To run the process, first we need to load an optimized recipe for this particular oxide etching. Accordingly, we have to check the other process parameters like gas flow rates, CHF3, that is 40 sccm, process pressure, that is 5 millitor, chiller temperature, 0 degrees centigrade, process time, 5 minutes, and ICP. 1500 watts and R of power 50 watts. We have to click the run button to start the recipe. Now we see our chamber status. This reactor door in between will open and this arm is going to push our sample inside. The sample will be placed on an electrostatic chuck in the chamber. We can see the nice plasma through this viewpoint. So, 
At this point, we are just waiting for the process to finish. Unload the sample. Once we finish processing our sample, it is now time to leave it in a standby mode. Next, we pump down the load lock and the sample will be brought back to the load lock chamber. Next, we open the load lock and unload the sample from the chamber. Shut down. Go to the PC2000 in service mode and switch off APC valve. Next, reduce the turbo speed slowly to 0 RPM, then switch it off. Before switching off the system, all the pumps should be turned off. Exit the program and finally close the ICPRIE.